you were going to take a free holiday from someone you consider a friend. How could it not have occurred to you that that might not have been okay? No. Uh, the fact is, we work. Uh, the uh, sorry, let me just try to reorder reorder the thoughts. We. Um, it was certainly awkward at the time. Turns out, it could have been worse. Justin Trudeau and his family had taken free vacations on the private island of the Aga Khan. The philanthropist and Muslim spiritual leader was registered to lobby the government. On this issue of a, a family vacation with a personal friend, um, it wasn't uh, considered that there would be an issue there. But it was a big issue. Ethics Commissioner Mary Dawson found he violated the Conflict of Interest Act four times. Now, new documents reveal the RCMP considered criminal charges against the Prime Minister. Access to information documents obtained by the Conservative Party show police considered breach of trust charges but didn't have evidence. On the charge of fraud, police found it was unclear because the law says an official can accept benefits from individuals with government dealings provided that official has written consent from the head of their branch of government. Meaning Trudeau could have written himself a letter making it okay to accept the vacation. The Conservatives argue that's not right. The Mounties didn't proceed with charging the Prime Minister because the Prime Minister may have granted himself a get-out-of-jail-free card. So did the Prime Minister give himself the power to break the law? There was five years ago a report that was done by the Ethics Commissioner. Uh, that report uh, made all of the matters clear. The Prime Minister responded appropriately. He quickly changed topics to the budget. The documents do show that the RCMP was also weighing other issues, like whether the force could access evidence from the ethics commissioner. But it's clear that half a decade after those trips, the Aga Khan vacations are still haunting the prime minister. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.